Coach, I know, I know you were pretty favorable at Georgia State preseason, and, and they're awfully playing like one of the favorites right now. I mean, they're they're very talented. Uh, you know, when you can start with Harrell and Hunter, that's uh, it's a pretty good start, and, and they've got other guys to go around them. So, uh, going to be a tough game. Uh, defensively, been playing well, but do you think this will be one of the, the harder tests defensively? I, I think no question, this will be the biggest test we've had uh, defensively. I think it's the most talented team that's been in Diddle Arena this season. So. Um, you know, they just present so many problems, and they're very efficient in the half court. They're, they're a tremendous transition team. Uh, so we, we've got to be very alert off the basketball, and it's going to take all five guys doing doing their job Thursday night. Now that O'Carroll got in there, fully healthy roster, feel like time to, to maybe turn the next page in the gas pedal? Yeah, well, I mean, he, he's looked good uh, yesterday uh, in practice. The biggest thing with him was being able to run without a limp. Uh, you know, the doctors had cleared him uh, maybe uh, two weeks ago, but he still ran with a limp. And we weren't going to play him until he could go full speed. I thought he, he wasn't uh, himself on Saturday, but he was much better. Uh, he could really help us in, in this type of game. With Akaro, it seems like you know, he's, he's a guy that's going to make at least one or two really good plays every single game. I mean, how valuable is it to have him back? Well, what, what, what O is, O's an energy guy. Normally, he's always where he's supposed to be on the defensive end. He's got a good understanding of what we're trying to do offensively. Uh, he's not the most skilled player, but he, he's a very good athlete, and he, he's, a, he's a smart kid, uh, and he plays extremely hard. So he's a kid that's been in the program for three years, so that helps as well. Kind of going back to Georgia State, and specifically uh, you know, with uh, Harrow, and then after that, I'm wondering what makes them so, so tough. Well, Harold's averaging 19, Hunter 18. Harold scores in a variety of ways. He can beat you off the bounce. He can get it on a roll and start making threes. Hunter 6'6". Six, six. He can post you. Uh, probably uh, as good a shooter as we've played other than maybe Marshall Henderson. Um, he just doesn't take as many bad shots as, as Marshall. But, uh, you know, those two guys uh, are tremendous offensive players. I mean, it's the first time it's ever been done at WKU, so uh, I feel like we did what we needed to do. Uh, there's going to be a lot of teams losing South Alabama, and, and I think it's possibly the same thing at Troy. Uh, it, it was ugly because we made it ugly. I mean, we defended them uh, like no one's defended them all season. I think it was our lowest output of the season. Uh, sometimes you uh, people that don't understand basketball think you're supposed to score 80 points every night. That's not how you win. Uh, you win by defense defending and rebounding and uh, the nights when the ball's going in the hole then you look really good. So uh, ball didn't go in the hole for us but uh, we defended and we rebounded.